very warm welcome in cool it help this is a new video tutorial session on visual studio code guys in this tutorial session we are going to create and run angular project in visual studio code let's get started as we know angular is a popular javascript library developed by google for building web application user interfaces and there's a one note i'm going to use angular cli to create and run angular project for this, we need Node.js and NPM setup on the machine. So guys, you can say this is the prerequisite. And these are the steps which we are going to follow one by one to install and run Angular project in Visual Studio Code. Let's begin with the step one. I'm assuming some of you guys uh, not have the Node.js and NPM installed on your system. So f we have first need of Node.js and NPM on your machine and you can ask me this why because we are going to use command line interface as well as we are going to run the angular application server through it so guys if you want to install Node.js and NPM you can watch this video tutorial session and this is the link for that video tutorial you can get this link in the video description so please follow this video tutorial and install node.js and npm then come back and continue with this step two now i'm supposing you guys have already installed and now we are going to proceed with this step two in the step two our first priority to verify everything is in its place or not so we need to simply run two commands node hyphen hyphen version and npm hyphen hyphen version to check that node is installed properly or not. So just open the command prompt and simply type first command node hyphen hyphen version. Press enter and you will see the version number. That's good. Now the second one is npm hyphen hyphen version. Press enter. Okay, we got it. 6.14.8 that's good okay guys we can proceed now we are going to follow the step 3 in the step 3 we need to install the angular cli we are going to install the command line interface or uh, so we need to type a simple command on the terminal and the command is written here npm install hyphen z at the rate angular forward slash cli so just copy this command you can get the same command from the description and uh, come here at this place in the command prompt and type it here npm install hyphen g at the rate angular forward slash cli and press enter and wait for few seconds now some activities will start on your uh, system and you will see the message and you can see these dots these are the uh, representation of the progress bar and uh, process is still going on and until this finish we have to wait and this installation will take uh, maximum one minute and uh, once it is installed you will see uh, such kind of messages on your command prompt and then this will ask you uh, uh, this question that you want to share some uh, anonymous users data with the google so this is your choice you can press yes or no and when you choose the option press enter you will see that the final message added 183 package and the command prompt so step three is done and this angular cli is installed successfully now guys we are going to proceed with the step four in the step four we are going to create new application by typing a simple command simple command on the terminal the command is very simple ng new and the project folder name so this is the term terminal or a command prompt the same place and now i will type this command ng okay guys before proceed before going to run this command i would suggest uh, choose a folder for your angular project 
or uh, so you can easily go to that folder and uh, maybe your appropriate folder or workspace workplace for your angular projects so i have decided to put my project here in this uh, folder which i have created dedicatedly for this angular project okay so now i am inside the angular project vs code folder and now i want to create my new angular project here okay guys so i will run this command ng new my angular project and the my angular project this is the project folder name got it okay press enter once you press enter you will see uh, such kind of message and this will ask you you want the angular routing you can simply press y key and press enter then you will see some options here like the css so select first one press enter and you will again see the installation procedure and you will see this blinking message installing packages so the actual installation process is started once this finish and finally you will see this message package installed successfully and your cursor will prompt here okay guys uh, this means your project is created now we will check this folder now i'm here you can see this is the location where we have created our project my angular project and i found it here okay you can check the location which you have given so now in the next step We will simply uh, run our application on application server by starting the server, Angular server. Okay guys, for this process, we need to open a command prompt and we need to go to the project, inside the project folder, then we need to type a simple command ng-serve. Okay, this is the first command and this is the second one, ng-serve. This is not server, this is ng-serve, my mistake. And this is ng-serve. So you cannot directly run it from this place. First, you need to go inside the project folder. So just type CD inside the project folder, my Angular project. Now you can type the second command ng serve, press enter. And finally, you will see this message again. You want to share the anonymous data with the Google or Angular team. So you can simply press Y or N, anything, press N. This will again take few more seconds. So have patience. And then you will see this message generating browser application bundles. So some activities going on in the background. So we have to wait for this. Once this is done, you will see this message compiled successfully. That means your application build is successful. Now this is ready to run. Also, you can see this message here. You can open your application, open your browser on this HTTP localhost 4200. Now we will open the Chrome browser and then we will type this address. So I have just minimized it and now I'm typing on this on Google Chrome localhost. 4200 press enter and guys you will see your project is here and you will see welcome page here in the blue uh, rectangle you can see your project name my angular project app is running so your server is up and your application is running here so guys we have seen uh, to create the project with the angular cli and then uh, we have the uh, angular server up and running okay now we will see how to open this project in the visual studio code or you can say we can move this project to visual studio code for the further editing so you can take the advantages of the visual studio code angular intellisense which is dedicatedly available inside the vs code so simple we need to open the another command prompt and, and then we have to go inside the project folder 
and then we have type simple command let me show you now I'm opening the new command prompt here okay and then we have to move inside the project folder so this is the location of my project folder so I will type CD this is a simple DOS command to go inside the folder and now we reached at the place where we kept our project and again we need to move inside our project folder so just type cd my angular project this is the project folder and once you do that you can now finally run code space dot press enter and wait for a few seconds you will see visual studio code will launch and this will open your angular project here in the vs code on the left hand side you can see your project my angular project you can see all the relevant and useful files are added here and this is the complete project we have the src folder we have lots of thing here we have a main.ts typescript files and this is the main.ts a lot, of, a lot of things are here and on the right hand side you guys can notice this is suggesting us to install the angular language service extension which will be helpful when you do more work with this project so you can simply click on the install button to install this useful extension in visual studio code so i just selected it and uh, I'm installing this angular language services if you want to uh, read more about this so a lot of informations are available at this place you can read it now I'm opening this uh, file uh, app component .ts, and I will do some changes and then I want to show you something so this is the title uh, for the project now I want to do a change you can see your title is appearing at this place my angular project app is running now I will do small change here in the file and you will see the immediate effect on that web page so this is the step 7 in which I'm doing a small change here in the file .ts file and that changes will be reflected immediately without any effort so I'm typing the cool IT help hello cool IT help and then uh, this string okay I just saved this file and simply you can open your uh, page the application server page home page and then you will find that the changes will reflect here let me show you again so I have added two more words here and now I just saved the file and I just came back here in this Chrome browser file saved now you can see this is automatically refreshed okay so and visual studio code has a facility has a feature that you simply just save your file and that changes will be reflected here on the browser so this sends automatic refresh command to the browser so vs code support automatic save feature so this is very useful you don't need to worry about to publish your changes again and again you need to just simply save and that will be reflected here so guys that's all for this session and uh, I hope you guys have a clear understanding on the overall process of creating and running the angular project in visual studio code I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and guys please subscribe my channel for now thanks for watching cool it help